ride. Uh, big day for me today. Finally got my Farmall hybrid engine home, and we're going to get ready to start putting it back together. Uh, the reason why I call this a hybrid engine is because there's three different tractors that made up this engine. Um, a lot of you may know that if you don't put uh, antifreeze in these blocks, instead of it just busting out the, 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 the freeze plugs, uh, it'll crack your block. So that probably happened to my original Super A block, so I had to find another block. And this block came out of a 130, and it is flawless. Um, that's a 130 block. That's a Super A head and as a 140 crank and a 140 cam. Now a lot of you die hard uh, farm on guys might be wondering how I used a 140 crank uh, in a, a 130 block because they're a little bit different. Now what we did is we cut the threaded part off of the 140 and some of you might think that was a bad idea but you know what? I had a parts tractor, I was using these parts, I was having a hard time finding them and it worked. So that's a 140 crank, we cut the threaded part off and Here's the original pulley, and there's a Super A pulley. I don't know how well you can see it, but when we put the Super A pulley on there, we were able to press it on the crank after cutting that thread apart off, and um, worked out real good. Also, I believe this timing cover came off the 140. I like the little, little pointer on it. Uh, anyway, everything in the engine is brand new, or it's been uh, machined. Nothing in it has a crack. Everything's been Magnaflux and checked for cracks. Uh, the... Um, the oil pump is a brand new. Some of you guys might know that uh, an oil pump, as of today, right now, probably costs anywhere between thirteen hundred and fifteen hundred dollars. And I didn't have that kind of money. We uh, took the Super 8 pump and the 140 pump, and you know, I think we might have used a screen from the 140. But I did go to Case New Highland, and I got a new gear for the um, oil pump. So we rebuilt that. Not a whole lot to it, but we rebuilt it. Looks like it's going to work out real good. Uh, the kit I used, I used two different kits because of the head being a Super A. I ordered a Super A valve kit and springs and then the 130 um, block. I think the bore is a little bit different. Uh, we used uh, Red Power. Uh, we used Red Power dome pistons, um, sleeves, and the bearings and everything worked out perfect. And then the Super A kit, uh, three angle valve job, you know, new springs. Uh, valve guides all that good stuff so um looks like a brand new motor and this um this valve cover was off the super a it cleaned up real nice so i'm real excited about getting it in um another thing from the 140 uh 140 flywheel getting the ring gear the old ring gear off of the uh, super a flywheel we ended up cracking it so you know we've got a new ring gear here and as you can see i got a brand new clutch and got a new throw out bearing and cleaned up the housing uh, the only thing that's holding me up right now is I need to go to Napa and get a grease fitting. And uh, then we'll get this thing together. It's still probably going to be about four to six months before I crank it because, you know, I'm trying to uh, rebuild this thing from top to bottom and have it looking real good and running strong. So, anyway, got a lot done. I'm very excited about it. I'll keep you guys updated.